What's up, YouTube friends? Today, I'm going to be working on my S14. Now, I haven't really posted this car on the channel at all. Actually, haven't really posted on the channel at all in a while. Uh, last video that I think I posted was working on my Honda that I got, and I was going to do kind of like a budget build on the EK hatch that I bought. Well, I ended up selling the EK, and I picked up an S14 instead because, you know, can't stay away from the 240s. Yeah, so this is just a lot better of a purchase for me, and uh, I would prefer to daily drive this instead of a, a Honda, even though it's probably more reliable. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so just a little overview of the car. It is a 95 S14 Zenki, obviously. It's a 95 uh, S14 Zenki, basically bone stock, uh, stock dual cam. It's been in a front end accident, as you can see. So I didn't pay top dollar 2022 pricing for it because not only has it been in a front end accident, but it's handicapped as well, as you can see. Uh, automatic. I have purchased uh, some stuff for it already. I am gonna be swapping it. And um, let me just show you guys quickly. Uh, just a new trim piece. Keep the cup of noodle on deck, you know? Uh, so I got my box of parts, you know? I already ordered a, or got a clutch pedal for it. Got the manual shift boot for it. Got a clutch line for it. And uh, I actually have a clutch and flywheel already uh, in the garage for it. Basically, all I need really is just a transmission. Currently in the process of sourcing a transmission for it, and then I'm gonna be swapping it. Reason why I'm swapping it and not leaving it automatic, even though it is my daily right now, is because I'm gonna retire my S13 from being my drift car, which you can't see, it's covered right now, and I'm gonna keep it that way because I am doing some stuff to it. I'm gonna be turning this one into my drift car, mainly, just because this one's already been in a front end accident so it's not the cleanest car anyways as you can see the core support it's a little uh it's a little bent needless to say uh not straight so this car my s13 if you remember when i bought this car if you guys want to go back on the channel you can see some of the videos i posted for that that car is super straight never been in an accident whatsoever super clean quarter panels uh super clean front end literally never been in an accident at all i would just feel a lot more comfortable drifting this one knowing that it's already been in an accident needless to say this is going to be my new drift car and i'm going to keep my s13 as a street car and potentially start dailing the s13 also the s13 the ac and everything works like super good on it um, the ac does work on this uh, it only blows out a defroster and the feet, so <laughs> yeah, but it does blow cold, so I could fix that, but <clears throat> honestly, I just don't really feel like putting time into that and fixing it when I already have a perfectly good S13 over there. So anyways, this is going to be the new drift car project on the channel. Uh, if everything goes well, I'll be able to, you know, start putting out a lot more videos on this. Uh, I do have some stuff that needs to be done as I showed you already in the trunk. So we're gonna be doing a whole manual swap video, um, everything like that. And I already did a manual swap on an S14 in the past. So it's actually really easy. So I'll show you guys, I'll make a video on doing all that and how to do it in case you guys are wondering. I might already have a video on it. I kind of don't remember because that was shit, maybe like three or four years ago when I swapped my other S14. Enough talking, let's, uh, let me just go back really quick. Um, main reason why I got this car is because it is, you know, decently clean, uh, clean interior. It's all here. Need to, you know, steam clean that and do all that nonsense. But in case you guys are wondering, this is what I've been up to. And this is why I haven't posted in a while, because I've just slowly kind of been gathering parts to put this together. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is getting rid of this monster truck fitment, as you can see. Like I said, it's all stock, so um, it is cool though. It's got some real works on it, really weak specs, but they are real, which is kind of cool. And the four lug, which is cool, um, you know, not really worth any money, but <laughs> it's still cool that there's real wheels on it. So at least somebody, you know, took the time and kind of cared about the car. Uh, quarter panels are clean, everything. 
I'm getting really off topic here. I kind of forgot how to make YouTube videos because I haven't made them in a long time. Hopefully you guys enjoy anyways. Yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys the coilovers. Nothing fancy at all. I actually got them for free. So shout out the homie. I'll put his Instagram on the screen right here. He hooked me up and he gave me these super, super old <laughs> uh, HKS coilovers. They are HKS, so they're real, they're not eBay. And, you know, I'd much rather put something like this than buy eBay coilovers, to be completely honest with you. HKS damper, um, you know, they're super old. These are either Gen 1 or Gen 2 HKS coilovers. Um, so these are probably from late 90s, early 2000s. These have been around for a very long time, and they've probably been on their fair share of cars. So <laughs> um, let me go ahead and grab the rear one for you guys. I'll show you. So here they are, pretty dirty but you know they're not leaking or anything you can see they're clean in here everything looks decent you know the threads are all still straight um these are pretty beat up but you know they are old and used and these are a temporary setup anyways so i'm gonna get different coils in the future but in the meantime i couldn't say no to free coil over so um we're gonna throw these on and see how they ride only thing i did notice about these these are a super old design so as you can see uh the preload is the height adjustment so there's no separate height adjustment like most coilovers now have um these are definitely a super old design so uh you can see in order to go low you basically got to lose all your preload so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go reset the preload because you can see this helper spring is kind of struggling a little bit it has way too much preload on it uh, i'm gonna go ahead reset the preload get the preload right where it's supposed to be at install them on the car and then see where we sit and then you know if i need to remove preload then i'll do that to go lower but um i think what i'm going to do is just like i said set the preload and see where it sits at that point and then obviously if i want to go lower i can go lower they just won't ride as nice basically so <clears throat> and who knows they might even be blown i don't know but yeah so let's get started on the video first things first i'm gonna jack the car up and get these wheels off i've actually never taken the wheels off so We'll see how it goes. All right, well, we're off to a good start. Let's hope that our luck continues, but the first collar broke loose, no problem. So it's always a good sign with old coilovers. Normally all the collars are all seized. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and adjust preload on all these. Once I get all of them loose though, I'll, I'll show you guys how to set up the preload um, properly or however I think it's supposed to go. <laughs> um, so anyways, let me just go ahead and loosen these all the way down get the spring completely loose here and then uh, I'll show you guys how to set it up uh, the right way the right way all right so now I got this pretty loose uh, you know I can wiggle it around pretty good so as you can see it did go a considerably amount lower um, what this is gonna do though obviously this does lower the car as well so we're not maxed out on threads yet basically this going down is adjusting the height as well not just the preload because once this goes in the car this helper spring is going to compress like this so basically it seems like the only reason why this helper spring is here is to help with height adjustment that way you still have preload even though you're you don't really have preload because this spring isn't really preloaded um because it's kind of, you can't really preload this spring with this helper spring because the helper spring is so weak. Like I can literally, with my fingers, do that. So it's basically, the helper spring is here just so the spring isn't just flopping around if you want to go this low and max it out, right? What I'm going to do is to set the preload on this, I'm just going to get this to where it's like somewhat snug-ish. And then um, what I'm going to do is just match this side with the height. So what I'll do is I'll just measure threads, match it over here on this side. And then for the front, this you can actually do proper preload adjustment too. Because it doesn't have the helper spring, this spring will actually get preloaded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the rear set up where I want it set up at uh, height wise. And then, you know, I'll probably have to go back and adjust it on the car anyways. And then I'll show you guys, you know, how I set up a proper preload on this spring right here. Technically, this is preload, but you're not really preloading the spring because this spring's so weak anyways. 
So like I said, you can't get a proper preload on this actual spring with this helper spring being here. So let me go ahead and set the rear up and then I'll show you guys the front. Okay, see this spring right here? It's not supposed to be smashed. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, it's a helper spring so that you can have the coils down here but it won't just be all loose. And I already did the other one, but these coils are old as shit, so everything's all seized. Delete ABS, dude. See all these extra brake lines for nothing? I uh, was the top hat of the strut to the strut tower. This is a knuckle. I loosened the bottom of the, the strut from the knuckle right here, just two bolts. And then also I disconnected the brake lines from the strut. And then now we're just loosening the strut from the top hat, or uh, the top hat of the strut from the strut tower. And that's it, and then we put the new one in, and then we're done. Now we got our old strut and spring out. Then... One in, all three in. And it back on. Hopefully that's the right thread pitch. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Now we gotta just connect this back up. With the knuckle? Yeah, but we need the jack. Little zip tie job. Yeah. Zip ties will fix everything, bro. My bad. So it's gonna be like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Should bring us down almost an inch on right height wise because you got to think about the axis if you lower it down here it's going to affect it more out here because it's on a longer axis so. and hopefully these aren't seized looks good so we'll move this one down do is measure it. So I'm gonna go to when we have an inch and a half of thread on the bottom. If these aren't seeds, <laughs> should be able to use them. <laughs> right, yeah. So this is what I mean. So as I was explaining earlier in the video about the preload adjustment and the height adjustment. So see how the spring is getting loose now? That's because I take all the preload out of it because the only way to lower it down is to lower the preload collars. On a newer coilover, like with on PBMs that are on my S13, for example, this bottom spindle right here where it connects to the knuckle, the whole thing spins. So you can bring this up without touching your spring. This part will actually thread up. So it's an older design. It works, but it's not the best design for drivability wise. But they'll go low, <laughs> basically. Which is what we want. Which is, yeah, which is why I'm putting these on my car in the first place. And they were free. So, 
If I can go low for free, it's all that matters. Cause now I gotta buy a three hundred dollar distributor. So. <laughs> About an inch and a half. So now we put the wheel back on and move to the other side. I'm putting this one, I'm putting this one right up front. Yep. And then we're putting the longer one in the back. Yep. That's right. So right now the sway bar is applying too much pressure down to the to the knuckle. So this bolt is stuck. I'm probably gonna strip it to be honest. Don't want it there. Not the fucking move. You know? Basically we have to get the get the jack, put it up, take it out, then put it down. Pretty much. Let's do that. Papa Boopy, you know, <laughs> said you smoked weed this morning. Nah. Smoked this morning? Me? Yeah. Nah. No? Because Gary, Papa Booey, you know, he thought you smoked weed. He thought you smelled like weed. Me? Nah, I don't yeah. smoke weed. Yeah, I mean, you know weed. I is... hate weed. Do really? You? Lower the car down. I think these coilovers are going to droop a lot. That's right. Do that. Yeah, so it's gonna look like a track fitment, like a fucking auto. That way, there's none of this. Yeah, and that was fire. Meat right there. What do you have to do in there? Coil over snacking the top of it. That's fault. I guess S14s are different, but this upper control arm is supposed to be a whole thing, not just a half moon. I know for a fact S13s are a whole, like the coilover goes through the thing, not just next to it. as fuck. I don't even know where my PB blaster went. I don't see why this wouldn't work. Quick, easy install. Look at it. Oh, I can spin this one, no problem. Hours later.
And the mist on my head is a cloud I've been walking this way for a while Feel like shorty's been slowing me down Cut them off, ain't no feelings around But I'm lonely when you not around Everybody got days when they down Stacking up and I'm settling down I'm a king, I'm deserving the bow Still in the city, I swear that the energy wild uh. Trying to get focused but not touching Millie I promise my mama we out The next day I did this side of the carpet too, but I mean, it looks better than it was, just not perfect, so. Look how low this bitch is now, huh? Those are 17. Those are 17. Wait, Dad. Where? Where? Is that where it ends? Right? Yeah, everyone.